disruption of the core of community, which is in the kitchen of the American home. When the outside comes inside, therefore there's no social space, that turns the domestic situation into a menacing reality and confusing. And it leads to drug taking, sexual liberation, sexual revolution, sexual confusion, sexual multiple role playing, mental drugs and plastic surgery for the mind, all different uh, regular anime drugs and any LCs heroin and all that. Every radical, what well, some people call counterculture uh, movement, every revolution on all level, women's lib, uh, all kinds of things, were identity crisis caused by television being inside the home. So I'm saying the whole range of what was actually televised, because the content of TV is in the 60s is all about. You have to turn to be in the play for the sexual revolution, the drug revolution, 1995, Tim Weary, the uh, women's lib, the, the later 60s, 60s, the uh, hippie thing, thing, the beatnik thing, the uh, housewives going, going to work. Um, now all that, all those were all the stories were covered on 60 Minutes every week. That, that was, was the content. content. And, and they, they were, were the actual effects of a real war caused on the psyche by television. By television as a form. And then it mixed with the satellite in 1968. It's incredible what, what went on in 1968. I don't, I don't want to get distracted on that, but um, there's a really good book on that, uh, the how the satellite, the first satellite live feed happened in 68. That's, That's where you get the Democratic Convention, convention where they're the changing the whole world watching. So everything that the news, the news is always showing you the effects. And, and, and that's, that's why McClure was so easy for everybody to write his book, because you just take an inventory of the latest of facts. And back then, in the 50s, people weren't so hyper-informed. They didn't see a replay of popular images, like hippie reading the stars and more people's global ability. And the other inventory of images from the Rand Act of the 20th century seemed to be quite revolutionary. But he was just, you know, on a puny level, showing the news environment, and just replaying the news environment. The onslaught of images, and people just weren't able to articulate that. Many of the conscious raising, or um, let's say uh, uh, any community activity, any uh, any word activity, these were people learning how to speak, how to respond and articulate what they thought were important issues on the news. It was a massive education. <laughs> it was all the cultural revolution in the Arab world too were people learning how to speak about, about a social, social world that was uh, all around them and they felt they had to have a conscience about it. People didn't feel that way 40 to 50 years before.